Okay. So asking for, uh, if you're doing muscle testing, I strongly recommend everyone always get two or three calibration questions done for questions you know clearly yes or no, like my name is severe, whatever. Then um, ask for permission, and often you'll f sometimes you'll find that you do not get permission. Do I have permission to ask about the lottery numbers? No. Or do I have permission to ask whether I should leave my girlfriend today? And you, have, you, don't have, you do not have permission <coughs> to ask. And that's because sometimes you don't have, um, the universe wants you to make and learn the lesson without getting the information from the universe easily. It wants you, it may be that you don't have the karmic merit. Uh, I'm using some, some loaded language. You don't have the karmic merit. And so you must make the decision uh, without, without that. Because it's like, it's a grace to get that level of information. It's a privilege of the universe to get that level. Sometimes when you've got the karmic merit, you get answers to all kinds of things. But sometimes in a certain area, you haven't got the karmic merit. And the universe is not going to give you the answer in this specific question. And you get that you don't have permission for it. So just accept that. And I would say it's a level of humility. It's a, I would treat the, the process as a holy process of using muscle testing, so you ask permission. Uh, otherwise, I would, I would personally see it as an egotistical thing mm -hmm. to say to, to divinity, I'm, you're entitled, you must give me an answer to every single question I ask, and I expect that of you. I would say that that's, that's lacking in uh, humility of the divine for the gift that has been given. And also, if you're doing muscle testing and you abuse it, uh, and you are able to do it, you may lose your ability to do it. So I don't really recommend you use it lightly. I, um, I can tell a story. I'll tell my own tr true story. So I, I found out about Hawkins in the early days, and he talked about muscle testing, and I couldn't do it. And I met this guy in London who was a muscle test kinesiologist. And he got, I took a huge bag of medicines and vitamins and everything that I was taking, and pills and whatever, like huge carrier bags. And he just quickly went through everything in my bag. And he said, these are good for you. Just take this amount of this. Stop taking all of that. And I did everything he said, and I felt a thousand times better. And I knew he was the real deal. And, then, and he could also do questions like, should I, should I go to this place? Should I take that therapy? And everything he did, uh, it was like having access to God. Thank you. And then one day, after a few years, and every time I you know, paid in money, and, uh, and I'd get answers to everything, it was great. And then one day, uh, he got married then. Uh, and, uh, and then one day I went there, and I had, I'm going to say this on camera, isn't it? It's not going to be good anyway. I was having, I was meeting a married woman. It doesn't sound good, does it? So I was meeting a married woman, and, uh, and uh, so I asked him, and my guilt was going on, oh my God, I'm meeting a married woman. So I thought, this is the way I can let her go. I'll get him to do the muscle test and tell me to let her go. It's not right. And, and I knew he was in, in a relationship, uh, and, and he said, and I knew the answer was going to be no, like let her go, it's not right. And he said, no, it's okay. He said, don't, don't you know, it's all right. I knew he had fallen, he had fallen from grace that day. And I, I intuited that he was having problems with his thing, and he's probably, he was probably, so he wasn't able to tell me. I never went back to him ever again. So when you get divine gifts, um, you often get divine gifts through privilege, spiritual privilege. If you become, a, 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 if you lose your spiritual privilege, you often lose your spiritual gifts. Um, so that's just a caveat to if you get lots of good stuff happening and going to grace, do keep being spiritual and don't abuse the power, uh, uh, which is a general theme. You know, once you have spiritual gifts, don't abuse the power that's entrusted to you by divinity. If you abuse the power entrusted to you by divinity, all the gifts you get can be taken away. It's like your, your spiritual privileges get revoked. Uh, and if you get used to living in a constant state of miracles, uh, try, try your best not, not, not to abuse that power. Um, if you abuse your power severely, you can drop hundreds of points, if anyone knows. Uh, if you're on, as Hawkins said, uh, when Muhammad 
Muhammad picked up the sword uh, against the Jews, um, his calibration went from 700 to 130, so it can be very severe.